Hello, my name is Simon Skinner. I'm an Operations Manager MVP. And today I'd like to talk to you about the business sense of Avaco. Here we can see uh, on the screen is the Interceptor SE Viewer. That stands for the Structured Event Viewer. And that's exactly what it is. But I kind of want to highlight one of the most obvious things uh, here is we're looking at loads of events. We're looking at uh, exceptions. We're looking at performance errors. Um, and we're looking at security errors. Now, we've just deployed the product onto a server, and the reason we did that is, well, we didn't actually know where our problems were, and we were spending a lot of time and energy trying to work out where those problems were. Uh, we had uh, a Team Foundation server, it got lots of code. We didn't know if it was a, a specific engineer or a developer. We didn't really know if it was a server. Uh, we kind of got this whole uh, chaos going on. Uh, the developer guys, they just wanted to point fingers at infrastructure. Infrastructure uh, wanted to return that favor. Um, and that's kind of a human thing to do, I think, is just to point to someone else and say, yeah, it's not, it's their fault because, you know, there's only three of us or four of us, so it's not me. Go, go, go have a, um, a conversation with those guys. So uh, we install Avaco. Um, there, I think there's quite a few blog posts about how, uh, how we've done that. I've, I've posted quite a few on that. Um, but we're just staring at our, 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 at our errors straight away. And this is where things start to take some form and shape of control. So now the dev guys or the infrastructure guys, they don't need to really even communicate so, so much anymore because like their events are going to be uh, laid out and displayed for them in the structured event viewer. Uh, they're going to be able to ignore or do something about the events depending on if it's appropriated to them. So let me just take uh, one for example. Um, I look at this one uh, for my default uh, ASPX page. Um, I can see if I look along the line this one's actually come from a web server called Zero One. And well, in fact, I've got the same error, but uh, slightly different timing, but on, on a web server called Zero Two. So then my Avaco agent, because these two servers are network load balanced, is just running as a local agent on that machine. So although the website, we don't know exactly which server it's going to, um, uh, to utilize. Uh, um, it could be, you know, amongst your, your whole uh, network load uh, balanced farm. Uh, what we do know is the Avacode agent is going to pinpoint exactly where that error was on that machine, irrespective if it's in a network load balance uh, environment. This may come particularly uh, handy in environments like SharePoint. So if I open up my alert, I can see that uh, actually um, I was making a SQL call, a store procedure, uh, something called SP underscore audit underscore create. Um, and I had a problem there. I could open up uh, my parameters and I can see what parameters are being collected in that uh, in that procedure. And I can go, that's to do with code. That's to do with my database. Now, I just want to make it quite clear that, in fact, uh, Avaco does not have a need to have an agent on a database server. What it's doing is it's following the code. Whatever the code does, wherever it runs, uh, Avaco is just following that code. So that means now that um, we can actually have a non-Microsoft database server at the back, uh, back there if need be. We could have an Oracle server. It will just follow that process because it's following that code. But now we, we, we have um, a solution to our problem. Or at least we know what our problem is. And these are the important factors. Before we spent a lot of the time trying to work out what the problem is, now we know what the problem is we can spend uh, time on trying to find out what the, re uh, the resolve to that problem without having to look for the problem and the resolve. So I can, I can see here that, uh, in fact, I've got a problem with, a, with an icon. Um, it's not found on a, on a controller for tailspin, um, and that's generated an error as well. So it doesn't have to be a catastrophic error. It doesn't have to be uh, um, something that's uh, going to threaten to bring the site down. But it is an error. So we can um, ascertain what that error is. We can also have a, a look at something called similar events and related events. Now, I kind of like these two tabs because they're giving me quite a lot of information. 
Although it's repetitive information because it's similar events, but I, I'm looking and I'm thinking, well, actually, this isn't happening too many times. So um, I can go look for another error where this is happening quite a lot, and I can appropriate that and say, this is the fix that I need to resolve quickly. So let's just recap on that for, for a second. We're no longer looking for problems. We are uh, being presented with the problems. And now we're being told how many times those problems are happening. So in fact, in a matter of seconds, we can decide whether it's important to deal with this problem now, or in fact, it's more important to deal with another problem now, which has got more similar events. Now that's, to me, is a business sense. That's kind of pretty cool. Because now I can appropriate my staff into the right place to the right pro problem. And it's cost me a lot less time. Just by having the SE viewer, I have that visibility. Obviously, there's other products that, um, that will give us that visibility, operations manager or config manager. They give us visibility. They, they allow us to see the problem. Avico is specifically based around the .NET applications. I can navigate around the, uh, the structured event viewer. I can go to my computers, for example. It gives me a list of my computers. It will tell me what I'm monitoring on those computers. It will tell me uh, some, some general information. It's uh, kind of useful. Here's my, my three servers in my network load balancing um, in production. And uh, this one here is actually a server that I'm using uh, for, my, uh, for my development. So I can see what the, the thresholds are and what what the uh, general configuration is there, um, aligned here on the right hand side. I can then go to my applications um, and I can see that uh, in this particular case the site's not doing anything, um, there's no monitor requests. Now this is uh, something that's refreshed on an hourly basis so it, it will actually, as the website is working, it will give us our monitored requests average time, exceptions, performance errors, etc. But this is kind of pretty, pretty cool information. But I want to summarize that. And in fact, maybe the best way to do that is in reports. There's a product called Advisor. Um, it's, it's based on SQL reporting. It's going to accumulate those errors. It's going to put them into graphs for us. And it's going to be able to tell us uh, from a high level uh, statistical point of view uh, where our problems are. Are we going up? Are we going down? Are we fixing problems? Are we creating more problems? Typically, um, as, um, as a version has been installed um, and that version is being run for a while and we haven't made any changes and we're going through the structured event viewer and we're resolving those problems, the trends will go down. Our statistics will show that, in fact, uh, the event count is going down, uh, the problem count is going down, and hopefully we might even see that the request account uh, uh, count is actually going up because more users are using it. Uh, we have more reports. We can do summary of performance. We can have a look at performance of um, across the board. Um, or um, we can look for the overall statistics of a particular website. So we can see those views here. And you can see these are hyperlinks. So we can go in and have a look at those those faults errors in the uh, in the structured event viewer and there they are listed there so again I'm just navigating around this uh, uh, around this site around the Avocode advisor and the SE viewer and the information is just being brought to me so I can have a look here at the overall uh, subnet statistics um, I can see uh, 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 how things are being loaded on the clients machines because this is being run from the uh, CSM or UX client side uh, monitoring and I can look at the statistics how things are working out on my clients so let's just put a full stop on that for a second and let's just think about why we do all of this why we have all of this infrastructure ultimately it's because we're going to a website to buy something or uh, it's a commerce site now our clients we don't know who those clients are we don't know where they are we don't know uh, what time of the day we go, they're going to go there but they're going to go to a site uh, we want them to come to our site we want them to uh, not go to other people's sites um, and we're going to do that by having an intuitive navigation around the site and also a site that doesn't cause them problems 
Now these people are key. They're absolutely key to our business. We can have a fantastic e-commerce uh, uh, business, but if our website isn't functioning correctly and the users, uh, statistically we hear that uh, after 10 seconds, if a site doesn't work, uh, those users are gonna move somewhere else and that's a loss of business. Now, years ago, it wouldn't have worked that way. We could have walked into a shop. The shopkeeper ignores us because they're just doing a bit of paperwork or they're stocking up on some, on some cans or bottles or something or other. And we would be in, a, in an embarrassing and awkward situation. Maybe we want to get served. We're in a bit of a rush, but maybe we don't leave the shop immediately. Maybe we try to catch that guy's attention because we have that eye contact. Um, and we can make a noise or we could actually say something like, yeah, hi, I'm in a rush. Uh, and then that guy will serve you. He's certainly not going to let you walk out of the shop uh, without, without uh, at least talking to you. But th that, that is the old method of buying something. Today's method of buying something on the internet, we don't have that personal relationship with the client. We're never going to meet the client. We're just going to supply them with some goods and they're going to give us some money. They've got the goods they've wanted and our, our business is becoming more profitable. That's the business process. That's why we need products like Avico. That's going to give us the insight. It's going to give us the knowledge because we don't have that personal relationship with the client. So we can see their experience. We can understand it and we can make things better. And when we bring out new releases, uh, we could have taken that knowledge uh, accumulated by uh, a visor and by the structured event viewer, taking that forward, how to make that experience better for our clients. So we can get them to spend, yet yeah, crudely, but I think we can say it, we can get them to spend more money on our site and they can come back because they find that that site is what's working for them. So although we can look at things in a very technical way um, and there's lots of stuff going on in the background, just from a commerce, from a business point of view, this is the kind of information that your company is going to require to become competitive um, and also to become effective. Also, there's cost savings in that. Because as I demonstrated when we opened up the SE Viewer, whereas uh, in the past we've been looking for events, we're not looking for events any longer. We're just looking at the problems and now we're just moving leap and leapfrogging straight into being able to find the solution. So in summary, the business case for using Avico or uh, in conjunction with Operations Manager is the fact that we are applying intellectual laziness. We're letting the agents do the work for us. We're just reaping the benefits of that in the structured event viewer in a much more relaxed environment that's saving us time, saving us effort, and we're no longer guessing. We're dealing with information based on fact, and that is a much better place to be. Thank you very much for listening to this session.